Guys, we've got a brand new intro. We've got a brand new update. This game is looking good now. I'm hoping it's going to be released soon as well. So I'm just going to be taking a look at the brand new update, guys, and seeing what there is to do and seeing what this offers. But you can see the new intro, guys. It looks so cool. Triumph in the arena and become the next master sorcerer. You've been chosen to enter the arena. So look how cool that looks. Where legends collide. So they've got the intro now, which kind of makes me believe that the game is just getting that step closer. They're polishing off, they're cleaning it all up. They're making it look good. They're making it feel good. So obviously guys, they have scrapped that Aladdin event off. So I do apologize, that video I did yesterday was basically pointless because they just deleted it this morning. But what I want to see is see if they've changed anything. So they've kind of cleaned this up again. This looks a little bit different again. The graphics seem a little bit more fine tuned again with the ticks. Everything looks a little bit more fine tuned. And I guess that's what they're just, they're just going to keep doing. Fine tuning and fine tuning everything. So what we've got today is actually a brand new battle pass, guys. Because um, obviously it's a new month now. It's uh, August. So they brought out the August battle pass. Just like... Fortnite does, they've got a monthly one. So they've got one here, which is August's one. It looks pretty good. I can't really complain about it. Straight off the bat, I got 10 of those. Good, those are actually quite hard to get. So I, I wanna talk about the rewards in this battle pass and actually see how they spill to like uh, last uh, month's one. So the first goal thing is we get a Simba talisman and that actually looks cute. That looks adorable, that talisman. We're going to go through, we're getting some Scar Shards for free, 90, 50,000 coins, some Aladdin. Ah, they've got Aladdin's costume like they've got on Disney Heroes. Uh, we've got a costume, more of those, more at Stamina. Aladdin, so this is all, this looks like it's heavily focused on unlocking Aladdin. And we've got, oh, that's pretty rubbish. Aladdin again. Some Rafiki there, Aladdin. Oh, you get a free, okay, that's adorable, but that's on quite a high level. So it's all kind of just, that will obviously unlock it for Aladdin. And then you get a, that a, a moat on tier 50. So as you guys can kind of see and kind of tell that um, it's, it's more or less the same as before. Um, I don't know what I got a couple for then, but um, complete campaign battles, complete arena battles, make purchases in exchange. So I'm basically wanting to go through and do everything and make sure I'm actually on this game every day doing the daily missions, guys. So there's always a daily mission to level someone up and equip and equip something. So let's level Sully up. Let's equip that onto Sully. There we go. So that will do those two missions. Um, I don't know anything to equip there. So I don't need to look at anything else in there. Then I'll go back and then you can claim. So I, I like to stay on this sort of screen here. Then I'll go back and forth, back and forth off this screen. And then that, there's that one done. So I can go back, claim, claim that I can go into open pack on the store and it basically just shoots you around all the locations you need to go into boom in there and then I can go into here so it's the quickest way to navigate around the world of Disney Sources Arena and rinse those daily missions and get everything done that you guys need to get done so there's the pass holder there um, you get 200,000 coins and 10,000 that is garbage for buying it considering all the last ones actually gave you character shards when you bought stuff so that's a little bit upsetting and then we'll, we'll normally have some deals up here yeah so that's going to give you aladdin and that's going to give you um jafar and jasmine so it's not too bad once again it's, it's not the best thing in the world so i can claim that um do some arena battles i'll, I'll do these on tinkerbell because i'm just trying to unlock tinkerbell guys I might as well use my stamina up. There's no point of keeping it all locked up because you can just use it and get loads of XP. So then where am I? I've done all the four. So I'm just going to auto win that. There we go. Just do that for now. Just get the XP up, guys. And I can complete that. And then go straight into the grand arena. 
see if I can get a victory on one of these. So this is basically what I like to do every every day when I play this, as you guys normally see, so I tend to do it in the video for you guys. But obviously, the, the new battle pass, it, it doesn't seem like the greatest thing in the world, as you guys saw from the start of the video. But you don't really need to pay for anything in this game. To be honest with you, it, it's quite easy, it's quite fun. Just, just to play, you know, it's not as stressful as Disney Heroes Battle Mode to play. And you don't, you also don't need to play it as much. You can literally play it for 10 minutes a day and that's all you need to do. Because as long as you get your daily missions done. Obviously, okay, it helps to come back and do the daily missions and stuff. But as long as you've got your, um, all of the daily missions done, you're getting your XP. It's not too much issue. She's got a fat amount of help on her. Okay, so he's gonna crit that. 188, critical down the barrel, guys. That's the way you do it. And Ted said that's the way things go. So I've moved up a little bit more again there, which is important. Cool, so now I'm going to go back and that'll be that one completed. Now I'll do the villains missions. Oh, I spent, okay, that was a mistake by me because I basically spent all my stamina. But I'll do that later on when I get my free stamina drop. Purchase items on the exchange is easy enough. You just need to get free. I always like to go, especially into this, uh, this shop here because I've got 500,000. And I'll buy everything in this shop. Just so I'm able to keep leveling up characters and keep everybody where they should be. Because then you can donate to your guild as well with all of the access. So it is quite important that you do that. I can get two shards for... Oh, I can get one of those. And two for Sully, why not? There we go. So like I was saying, guys, it is quite important that you um you make sure you are using the correct things when it comes to the game. And you are getting the correct badges and upgrades and bits and bobs. So I like to spend a few of my 200s on these. Because all of the characters need these. Um, so that's kind of the main important thing that I spend my diamonds on. And then, um, and then it's also quite important that you, okay, so now I can collect that. What have I got left? Grand campaign battles. This is the one, as you guys know, I always like to spend a hundred diamonds on because I'm trying to max out aerial at the moment. So I put all of my diamonds and resources onto that. And that also gets you loads of XP. So you can fly up there. Complete a summoner's challenge. 6,000, no, that's the best in the world, but I wonder if I can actually um, freestyle one of these now, guys. I'd be surprised if I wasn't able to, to say the least, guys. I was going to say, these guys shouldn't have a lot of health on them now. Pull down. That should kill both of them. Oh, I didn't. I don't really know uh, much about Darkwing skills, guys. Oh, that broke that broke the armor. Okay, that's not that's not too bad. The armor breaking, because that's basically going to allow you to just keep on smashing through them all. So uh, that, that's relatively decent, to be fair. Nice. So that completes all of that. Okay, cool. So where are we now? Yeah, they've, I think they've changed the look of it. They've inverted some of the colours. So do um, a mission in here. I, I, let's see how far we can actually get in this Tower of Endurance, guys. I've got my main team on. I'm going to put on him. I like to keep the dice on, but I might actually put the... Um, I'm going to put the Aladdin one on, just because I feel like that's going to be a little bit better for kind of what we want it, what we want it for, guys. Okay, 
Because and then and then we're we're basically getting like a double stack of damage on all of these characters when you use that little uh, thingy, my Bobby. So use on aerials, get two aerials out. That's actually a sick move. That, okay, I'm definitely going to be uh, making sure I smash the guild battle to get that move upgraded, guys. Because that is pretty solid. That's pretty decent. So now I get one of those done, and then I need to do a PvP battle. I want to put that on. Because it only, it only costs free as well, believe it or not. That's actually ridiculous. Let's see if we can find an opponent here, guys. Yeah, there we go. Four's gonna struggle off then. So straight away, I'm gonna deploy the apple as I always do. I'm gonna deploy that on buzz. We've got two buzzers. I'm gonna heal buzz. Buzz just moved away from that. Let's get two aerials out to do some damage. Oh, I killed it straight away. Stop. Oh, she evaded that. Yes, I was going to say, I thought I was getting a bit stuck then. I was getting absolutely rinsed. But I'm going to round the video up there, guys. So if you've enjoyed this video and you want more Sorcerer's Arena, guys, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in tonight's Disney Heroes video, guys. Love you all.